Hi guys and welcome to my channel. I am Bearded Dev. Today we're going to be looking at Sequel for Beginners Part 1. So what are we going to be covering in this video? First of all we're going to be looking at what is a database, why can't we use spreadsheets and then how do I connect to a database. So first of all let's look at what is a database. Now a database is defined as a collection of information that is organized so it can be easily accessed, managed and updated. So in a real world scenario think of a database similar to a filing cabinet. We want to store documents in there so we can easily access them to retrieve information, maybe update information. Uh, but most importantly manage that information. We don't want to be, have to be searching through hundreds of documents to find what we need um, and that's like a database. Moving on now to why can't we use spreadsheets. So here on my screen uh, we're looking at some sample data for a bookshop. Don't know why I've chosen a bookshop in particular, uh, it's just every time you tend to learn anything to do with development there tends to be a bookshop involved. Um, so this is on Microsoft Excel, obviously similar spreadsheet programs will do the same. Um, so we're looking at some sample data here from a bookshop as we can see we've got details on the book, uh, the salesperson and also our customers. But from a database perspective, uh, we want to be able to manage our data correctly. And what have we got on this spreadsheet that we do not want? And that is duplicate data. As we can see, uh, for an example here, I've put uh, this an example of a sale. So this customer, Michael Smith, he bought three books. He was served by the same salesperson. But what we've had to do is record that salesperson three times, one each per book, and also the customer details. Uh, now the benefit with uh, any spreadsheet software is you do have sheets, so we could split those out to she into sheets. Um, and this data is becoming a bit more normalized now. Don't worry particularly what normalization is and what we're going to be doing and why we use that uh, to store information in the database. I am going to be doing some separate videos on that uh, and why we need to store data in that way. Now the main reason behind why we don't use Excel is Excel is designed for data analysis which it's a fantastic product. I love using Excel. Any of you guys out there who have got experience with Excel writing formulas uh, once you move on to learning SQL, you will probably have a, a very good understanding of what we are going to be doing. So I've got a sheet here, just as an example of some sales data. As we can see with Excel, we can make, uh, we can analyze this data. Uh, we can quickly throw together some, some sample graphs on here um, and it all looks good. Moving on now to how do I connect to a database. Now the database we're going to be working with is Microsoft's product uh, which is SQL Server. So to connect to a database once you've got SQL Server installed on your machine SQL Server Management Studio is a client tool that allows you to connect to the database. As you can see here on my monitor I've got a shortcut to SQL Server uh, but you could also find that in your start menu. So we double click on SQL Server. That's going to open up now. As you can see, I am using SQL Server 2012. Uh, at this moment in time, the latest version is 2016. Uh, you guys might be using various versions. Um, I have come, ac uh, come across and worked on some databases still on 2005, uh, 2008, 2012 are quite popular. Uh, in my, for my work I use 2014 uh, but on my machine at home I've got 2012 installed. Uh, you can actually get a trial version uh, of SQL Server I believe from the Microsoft website uh, for a 180 day trial. Again, we're not going to be talking about how to actually install SQL Server today. That is outside the scope of this particular video. 
So once we've loaded up SQL Server, it's going to ask us to connect to a server. So what SQL Server Management Studio does, that is a client tool to allow us to connect to SQL Server. So in a work environment, you usually have a dedicated SQL Server. Uh, and then from your own machine, you have SQL Server Management Studio installed that allows you to connect to that server. Um, we can see here there is a server type. Now, for this lesson, we're going to be connecting to the database engine. We can connect to analysis services, reporting services, and integration services as well. Um, but in this lesson, we're going to be looking at the database. Here we have the server name. This is the name of my own machine. Obviously, you, your guys will always be different. Um, if there's not a server name in there, you can also enter an IP address. Next, we have authentication. Now, I'm using Windows authentication at the moment. So how I connect to SQL Server, that means it uses my username and password from my own Windows account. From what I've seen, that is the most used authentication method. But you can actually create logins within SQL Server itself. And for that, you would use a SQL Server authentication, where it would ask you for your login and password. Windows authentication, so what SQL Server does, it goes outside of its program to get the users set up and uses that way to authenticate you. So now we're just going to click connect. Uh, it's worth mentioning as well, as you can see, my username is already entered. I don't need to enter my password because SQL Server itself is going to go and get that information for me. So once I click Connect, as we can see here in Object Explorer on the left hand side, we have loaded up our server. So this is our server desktop. Don't know why I called it that name, but there we go. Uh, well, here we have databases, security, server objects, and so on. So what we're going to be looking at is databases. So if we click on that, here are a selection of databases that I am working with at the moment, or I might have just thrown together quickly. We have system databases at the top. Don't worry about those for now. Uh, and also something called database snapshots, of which I don't have any at the moment. So to open up an actual query, uh, when we're going to start looking at the database in detail, again, you guys might connect to a server that has multiple databases on it. So the, the database that I've set up today is the bookshop. So we just let, right click on that, click on new query, and that's going to open up our query window. So that, guys, was just a generic overview of how we connect to a database. We're not going to spend a lot of time here going into detail about why we do what we do. Uh, this is just a start a video for, for beginners and people who are new to SQL to show how we can connect. We're just going to go through an overview now of what we've been through. So we've learned what a database is. Why we don't use spreadsheets, obviously what we want with the database is to be able to manage our data efficiently uh, and spreadsheets just don't give us that capability. Um, we've also gone over how we can actually connect to a database. In the next video guys we're going to be looking at how we can retrieve data from the database. If you like my video please click on the like button, feel free to leave any comments below and also subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot more comment content coming over the next 12 months.